This is the Simple Machines Lab. We're going to look at three types of simple machines. The lever, the pulley, and the ramp. Okay. The lever, if you've ever opened a bottle with a bottle opener or cranked up a car jack, you know that you get a mechanical advantage by pushing with some force at some distance. That force times that distance produces what's called a torque. That's a twisting motion. If the torque's on both sides of the balance If the torque's on both sides of the fulcrum, are the same, the, the balance will be balanced. It will be like a, two kids on a seesaw that are perfectly balanced. You know that if one kid is heavier on the seesaw, they need to sit uh, closer to the fulcrum so that it can be balanced. So what I see is that the torque on the left side is equal to the torque on the right side. If I know one of the weights, if I'm going to have a, uh, we're in this lab we're going to build a, le a lever and we're going to hang a known weight on one side and we're going to put an unknown weight on the other side and we're going to know the weight on one side, we'll measure the distance it is to the weight so we know that this is what we don't know and we'll measure this distance so we can solve for the unknown weight. For our unknown mass, we'll use this steel weight uh, and we will try to predict its mass using our lever. So I have my meter stick and it's balanced on this little piece of wood here. And as you can see, it's like a, a teeter-totter. And I'll hang my known weight of 250 grams. I'll hang that from this side with a string like that and then on the other side I'll hang an unknown mass. I don't know how much it, it, its mass is. I'll hang it from this side and we'll balance the two until the this meter stick is balanced again and the weight of this object times this distance to the fulcrum, this is called the fulcrum, the teeter-totter point, this distance times this weight will be equal to this distance times this weight. And we'll be able to calculate the unknown weight. Okay, so I've centered my meter stick at 50 centimeters and it is balanced. This mass hanging times this distance produces a torque. The teeter-totter wants to twist that way. This weight over here has weight. That weight times this distance to the fulcrum produces a torque that wants to twist it this way. The torque on the right is equal to the torque on the left and the teeter-totter is balanced. Okay, so I'll calculate this weight this unknown weight times this distance is going to be equal to this known weight, 250 grams, times this distance. So 250 grams is 0.25 kilograms, and it's at the 90 centimeter mark. It's balanced at the 50 centimeter mark, so that's from 50 to 90 is 40 centimeters. And on this side, my unknown weight is placed at the 30 centimeter mark, so the distance from 30 to 50 is 20 centimeters. So I have a distance of 20 centimeters on the left and a distance of 40 centimeters on the right. The known mass is 250 grams 
or 0.25 kilograms. And my other mass is my unknown mass. But here's my unknown mass. I'll place it on the scale and I will measure its mass. Its mass is 508 grams, 0 0.508 kilograms. Our second simple machine will be the pulley. We'll have two sets of pulleys and the load will be connected to the bottom pulley. Okay, we'll hang our weight down here and then our system of pulleys, the load will be supported by four strands of string. The first one end of the string will be tied to this pulley, it will go around the bottom pulley, over the top pulley, back down or under the bottom, over the top again, and then we'll pull on it that way. You can see the weight of the load is suspended by one, two, three, four strands of string. We'll pull here, the, the load will rise, and what we'll see is that the work we do here, this pulling force, F, we're going to pull it some distance D, that will be the work done by me, and then the work done on the load will be the weight of the object, and it will rise some distance D. So the work done on the weight, the work done by me, what we'll find this, these two will be close to the same number. What we'll find is over here, I'll use a small force, but I'll have to pull it for a large distance. And that will equal the work done by, uh, on this side of the machine, which will turn out to be, I can use, lift a heavier weight, which is a greater force, the force of its weight, but it will only go a small distance. So that's the advantage I get with the machine. That's what the machine does for me. It doesn't produce work. I only can get out work if I put work in. But the trade-off is I can put in a small force and get out a big force. The, the trade-off is I have to use the small force for a large distance and I get the large force over a small distance. Looking at my pulley system, I see there are four strands supporting the load. Four strings holding the weight of 9.8 newtons. One kilogram, 9.8 newtons, is supported by four strands. So here's my pulley system. On the, I have a one kilogram mass hanging on my lower pulley, which has two wheels, and it's strung to the top where there's two more wheels, and the whole thing is hanging from the ring stand. You can see how far I have to pull the string compared to how far the load lifts. I'm pulling the string much further than the load is lifting. Let's measure how much uh, I have to pull the string and how much the load is lifted. Take my meter stick. And I'll see where my hand is located. And I see where the weight is located. And I'll pull the string until the load lifts 10 centimeters. The load has lifted 10 centimeters and I see that I've had to move my hand 40 centimeters. So the load was lifted 10 centimeters but I had to pull 40 centimeters of string to do that. Let's look at the force required to lift the load. have a force meter and I'll pull the load with the force meter and measure the strength with which I have to pull, the force that is needed to lift the load. 2.8 newtons, 2.8 newtons.
The third example of a simple machine is the ramp. We're going to build a ramp and we're going to pull a brick up the ramp. Okay. The end result will be that the brick is at the top of the ramp. So the work that I do to get it there, if I wanted to just lift the brick, I would have to pick up the brick from this from the from the ground and lift it a distance d. And of course, the weight of the brick I have to lift with a force equal to the brick's weight. So the work I would do to get it from here to there would be the weight of the brick times the distance. Work is equal to force times distance. However, if I do it this way and pull it up the ramp, this simple machine allows me to use less force to do the same amount of work. However, the trade-off is, with a less force, I have to do it over a greater distance. So the weight of the brick is one thing, but the force with which I have to pull it up the ramp will be something less than the weight of the brick. So I don't have to pull as hard as I would here. Again, the trade-off is, I have to do it over a longer distance. That distance is much bigger than this distance. This force, though, is much smaller than this force. And that's the advantage I gain with the simple machine, the ramp. Here's my ramp. I have a brick that I will pull up the ramp to some height up here and I'll measure the amount of force it takes to do that by connecting this force sensor to the brick and slide it up the ramp and I'll be able to measure the force with which I have to pull. The mass of my brick, I've measured it and written it down, is 2.63 kilograms. So multiply that by 9.8 to give me the number of newtons that the brick weighs. I'll measure the height of my ramp with a meter stick and I see that the height of my ramp is 22 centimeters. 22 centimeters. The length of my ramp is one, one meter and ten centimeters. So 1.1 meters is the length of the ramp. Okay, now I'll slide the brick up the ramp by pulling with the force sensor and I'll measure how hard I need to pull and it looks like about eleven and a half newtons is the is the force with which I was having to pull eleven and a half newtons to pull the brick up the ramp 